Now we're going to look at how we can create a custom agent in Langchain that uses the agent technology, so tools and just the multi-step process that an agent is capable of going through to accomplish some sort of a task with a custom agent. So let's go ahead and look at this. We're going to create a very kind of toy example where I'm, I'm giving tools where I can move this robot around and do some basic sort of logic to reasoning to carry out what the robot's going to, going to do. So I'm going to create a very simple custom tool. As we've seen before, tools are the things that allow you to let the agent be able to interact with things outside of its world, like search engines, or in this case, it's a robot that's going to have certain buttons that it can press to make it perform different actions. So here I am giving it a button that it can push. And if it pushes the button, the button glows red. And I give it the instructions for use, a big red button that you can push. I don't tell it, don't push the big red button. <laughs> that would be mean. You can send a single value to the button if, if asked. And here I, I, I create, I show that I'm going to use my own tool. I create the tool and I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell the agent to push the big red button and tell me what happens. And invoking, and it goes ahead and it pushes, and it pushes, that goes red. And the agent is going to report to me that it pushed the button and it glowed red, which is what we expected it would do. So now we're going to create the little robot. It's basically a car, and it has a position of X and Y, and then it can move north, south, east, and west. And then there's a tool called Control Panel, which lets it control certain things. So you can move forward or you can turn left and right by a certain angle by 90 degrees specifically. So here we can see, here's the, t the car tool. It starts out at the origin, X and Y zero. It is initially pointed north. The other directions are north, northeast, southwest. And the description, the three buttons, red, green, and yellow that you can push, the red button moves the car forward one unit. The green button turns left 90 degrees and the yellow button turns right 90 degrees depending on which of these that you, you press. If you say to move forward, it's gonna follow the direction you're pointing and move the appropriate X and Y by one. And it can only be at increments of 90 degrees, so it can only face the cardinal directions of north, south, east, and west. And then you can turn left and it, it basically increments your, your uh, direction and if you push the button, it gives you feedback and it moves the car into those various directions. And then we can just test it out. We can say, okay, we move it north and we, we print out its, its direction and so on and so forth. Oh, I need to update this. This is using GPT-35 Turbo, that's fine. That would work, but I would prefer this to use um, 4.0 Mini. But certainly, the certainly we we can use um, we can use that. But I will I will make that update to it. I like these to all use the latest and more importantly, least expensive models. So here I tell it basically what to do: push the buttons in a way that causes the car to move in a rectangle. And you can see it carries out and it moves the car into a rectangle and then gives me the results. So. I found that it, it can't do really complicated things. Like if I tell it to, to try to do a figure eight, it doesn't, it doesn't work so well, like a, a figure eight, but it does, it, it does work really relatively well in terms of using its tools and following out instructions. So thank you for watching this video. And if this was useful, please give me a like, uh, subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss out on future elements from this course as we continue. Thank you for watching.